Hey loves, it's time the infamous here and welcome back to my channel. And oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you guys. Welcome back. Girl, I have just been moving into my new house, unboxing everything. It has been so much work, you guys but you would be so proud of me. In the next video, I'm gonna show you guys around a little bit, see how we've been setting things up, kind of fill you in on everything. So just moving house is so much work and I could not believe that it's been like a month since I did my last video. Now my makeup room is almost completely set up. So this is the first video in my new house you guys and the energy just feels so good i love the new room it's way bigger than the last one and i kid you not you guys it makes me feel like years ago when i was in my other makeup rooms that i just love being in it just felt like such a one-on-one -on -one with you guys so i am so happy to be back in here and i'm even wanting to try to do two videos a week so you guys, if you see me uploading throughout the week, it is super important that you guys click the video and watch it. Even if you cannot watch the entire video right away, it really helps on YouTube with the algorithm to show that you guys are interested. I know when you start uploading, you know, throughout the week, you guys may not even know, or you may not even be on YouTube or whatever the case, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I have new hair, my curls kind of fell, um, because I didn't do any hairspray or anything like that. All the details will be down below for you guys. But today I'm coming to you guys with this kind of sexy, flirty, spring kind of date makeup. I just feel like come spring, me and my boyfriend are doing picnics and I love being outside. And this is just something I would do that's kind of simple yet really, really glam. And I'm actually checking out makeup from a new brand because I found this new artistic makeup brand. And I am really excited because the makeup is incredible. They actually partnered with with the British Museum, you guys, to do the Egyptian collection. So I was so honored when they reached out to me. This is a super cool brand. Let me show you guys the palette that I use today. It's actually this Eye of Horus palette. And when you open it up, it has this really cool cover inside here. And of course, I've already done this look, so I've already played in the colors. Look at this blue color. Super pretty, very reflective. As you guys can see on my eyes, I have this color here at the top on and it performed so well. And it just looks like liquid gold and it's so glittery. There's also this one here, super beautiful. And each palette is inspired by different aspects of Egypt, which I think that's beautiful. The detail in here, like there's King Tut on this one here. This is the outer packaging, so it matches completely. These are just, look at that, beautiful. This pressed glitter. And here's another one. And they're all so different. They have their own type of details, very vibrant colors. Now, one of their most impressive pieces of their collection is their Palace Identity Gilt Gold Dragon Velvet Lipstick. Look at the detail in this. It's so luxe. And they're actually a company from China, super high end. The Chinese New Year just passed, but these would be perfect if there's anyone you know who has kind of this background or who is into this Chinese culture. It's just so beautiful. This is the Forbidden City Collection, and this is inspired by ancient Chinese culture. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them right here. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. It is like this orange, very bright red. The next one is in the color M08. Um, look at that. Oh my gosh, that red is beautiful. Actually, I'm gonna try that red on real quick. 
when I was doing the look, I didn't think the red would look all. Mm. Whoa. Oh, you guys, and I am not even a huge fan of red lipsticks. This one, that berry just bit in effect, it does say velvet lipstick and I totally see why, but at the same time, it's not a dry matte. Okay, and for the last one, and I'll actually show you guys the detail of this close as well. This is in the color M05. Ooh, and this is like a lighter, almost pink. Ah! Okay, and these are super durable. I just dropped it on my hardwood floor, but it's perfectly fine. But this one, like I was saying, is like a beautiful kind of pinky blush color. Ooh, I could get down with this one. Look at that. So those are the three colors. So they have different collections that we're gonna check out in this video. This video is sponsored by ZC, so thank you ZC for sponsoring this video and this giveaway. So there are about 10 products that I did not use at all. And I'm gonna be giving away two of these palettes. One of them, as you guys could see, I didn't touch at all. It's just such a dynamic brand. I'm really excited for this video, you guys, and to show you this look and everything that I used. So let's just jump right into the makeup tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below what you're looking forward to for spring along with your email and you are entered for the giveaway, you guys. So let's get right into it. Okay, my loves, I have you guys zoomed in. My face is pretty much bare. All I have on is foundation, cream bronzer, and my powder. So we are gonna go into these beautiful eyebrow pencils because girl, we need to get these together. Brocade Carp Silk Smooth Eyebrow Pencil. So pretty. Here is the eyebrow pencil. This is a double-ended spoolie. So this is in the color three, number two, and then number one. So number one is the deepest. Ooh, look at that. I'm just kind of making these fake hairs in the inside. Look how easy that was. Okay, so next for our look, what you want to do is definitely grab an eyeshadow base. I know a lot of you guys who follow my tutorials by now know this, but you would be surprised how many people do not use an eyeshadow base. So if your shadows are creasing throughout the day or you just cannot get, you know, that vibrant color that you're looking for, go pick up an eyeshadow base. The British Museum XZC. They are just to die for, like I already told you guys, these are all inspired by Egypt. I'm just gonna go right into here. It's almost like a crushed metal. And I'm gonna start applying that. Oh my gosh, this is exactly what I wanted for this look. Oh, super light yellow gold. I love this. You guys do not be afraid with the color. After you do one layer, pack on another layer like I'm pushing very firm and making sure that it gets on here really, really well. And now we're gonna do our inner corner. We're gonna pull this all the way inside and go all the way up. Are you guys excited for spring? I am like so ready because I feel like last year when COVID hit, it was March and like we lost our entire warm season. Isn't that so cute? And I'm gonna go into this like warm kind of maroon with a smaller shadow brush. And now we're gonna kind of smoke this out a little bit because I have just been wanting to do dramatic, you guys. Like, 
and we're gonna go ahead and pull this out you guys know I love pulling it out but I'm going right to the very top of the yellow and going right under my brow I've just been dying to do heavy makeup I've been doing no makeup the last time I did my makeup was for Valentine's Day and that was over a month ago so when I go a long time without doing my makeup like I just want it to be so bold and intense. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lip plumper on. So now I'm gonna take a bigger blending brush and go right into this lighter kind of seashelly color and just start blending this out. And we're gonna get that nice and diffused still defined but it's a lot softer I'm just diffusing right here on the side of my nose and that's just gonna snatch the nose make it look really narrow and make you look very exotic as well I'm going into the ZC dear autumn air ink eyeliner super pretty yes they have brown and it is gliding on so good you can see it right there they also have black which is right here and as you can see here they're very fast drying so like as soon as you put them on they are good to go oh this is gonna be so cute oh my gosh tell me I am NOT looking like holiday Barbie right now I swear I have been unpacking of course as you guys know and I actually, at my last house, I never unpacked my holiday Barbie collection. And I just did not want to do that anymore. Like, you know how you just have boxes in the garage and you don't know what's quite in there. And so that's what's been taking a lot longer this time around unpacking everything because I am just making everything so organized and just making sure everything has a place like and it feels so good so I actually took my holiday Barbie collection out and set it up one of them are you know the like all gold huge dress and hair like this so this is so funny I went ahead and put my eyeshadow primer underneath my lower lash line and now I'm just gonna go right back into this eye of Horus palette and get this yellow on here and just put it right in the inner corner okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my pencil brush and if you guys do not have a pencil brush you are totally missing out it just is a lot skinnier it's meant for the lower lash line and it just helps you get your lower lash line a lot better so I went right into this color up here in the same palette okay so now I'm excited because ZC has these super cool color mascaras. They have beautiful packaging, holographic, it's so cute. Super simple and pretty sleek packaging. And this is actually the blue. Ooh, and here is the purple. It's like a wine berry purple. You can see it on the back of my hand there, the glitter. The mascara wand is like so big so I'm just gonna pop on my mascara and you guys don't forget to thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel and enter the giveaway okay so the brown mascara is actually really pretty I put on my fake lashes and I've just been kind of putting a little bit on my falsies it just kind of gives it this different dimension so we are gonna move on ZC has this brush set which is really pretty it comes with this really nice pouch and these brushes are so cool these brushes are from the Forbidden City collection and they're inspired by China's ancient culture that like reminds me of Mulan so just real quick I'm just gonna take a little bit of loose setting powder just to take the shine away before I finish everything. And I'm just gonna take just a little bit of bronzer to warm my skin back up.
here are the Living Color Flea Powder Blush. And they look like this super pretty sleek packaging. I just love how fun and colorful um, the packaging in this brand is. The color 01, it is like this pink with an orange undertone. But for this look, I thought this super bright orange would be perfect. And this is in the color 04. And I have been so into overdoing the blush. For the look I did on Valentine's Day, I did this blush focus. And I had on so much blush and it looked so pretty. And you guys were just like gagging over the look. As you guys saw in the beginning of the video, this is their Guilt Gold Dragon Velvet Lipsticks, which are gorgeous, but they only have red, and red is not gonna go really good with this look, so I'm just gonna throw on a nude lip. I cannot get that song out of my head with Bruno Mars and Anderson Pock. I'ma leave the door open. I'ma leave the door open. But okay, you guys. So let me give you guys my final thoughts. I love, love, love this Eye of Horus palette. It's so pretty. I loved this palette. I just love the look of it. It's just so high-end fashion designer looking to me. Oh my gosh, I love the blush. Oh, the blush is to die for. I thought the brows were great. Really, really pretty. Went on really easily. Oh, and also too, this. The British Museum XZC Color Mascara. This is the Alice in Wonderland one. And what's really cool about this one, actually a gold glitter wand. It's like this magical gold glitter. Ooh, you guys, this is perfect. Because it just kind of looks like my eyeshadow color is on my lashes but this is another glitter mascara and all of their colored mascaras are a part of the alice in wonderland collection so that's why there's different brushes there's different finishes there are the colored mascaras and the dazzling glitter toppers as well so you guys definitely make sure to click the link down below and check them out stay tuned for more videos coming out my in well not entire but well my makeup room is pretty much set up i just have to organize everything and i showed bits and pieces of that on my instagram and you guys flipped out like i have so much makeup and i've been collecting makeup for 13 years now you guys so i have so much so i'm gonna be doing a makeup collection organization video with you guys so you guys can see all of my makeup makeup inspo on how to store your makeup and also too girl we are gonna be doing some more makeup reviews and my goal is to start posting twice a week so you guys look out for that i'm really excited the details on my wig will be down below with the coupon code and until next time i will see you guys later